Hey, what up fam? It's your boy Swift and we are back with some more Legends. So, last night on stream, I was finally able to get my first copy of Goku and Vegeta. Uh, the homie Dr. Malding came through and donated a little bit and was able to, you know, help me out to get my first copy. So, quick shout out to Dr. Malding and yeah, honestly, I think Goku and Vegeta are really, really damn good. The switch mechanic is phenomenal, being able to, you know, change their element factor, you know, basically whenever they want to. Um, I think they are amazing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into PvP. All right, we matched up with the homie Billy, and uh, this is actually my first match of the day, so this should be interesting. Ah, that's really unfortunate. That was honestly really good timing on his part that he was able to get that blue card off. But yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, this might be a no rush match. Um, I think most of the time we play no rising rush, so... I'm definitely cool with that. Uh, obviously, if he rushes, then I'll probably just use mine as well, but um, we will do no rush. Let me go up and tap. I can almost swap out here. Alright, into Zamasu. Let's go right away. Okay. Alright, I'm going to hit him with the blue card, and I think I'm going to pop my main ability just to get enough key for the next blue card. Nice. Okay, we can connect this. Ah, that's fine. I, You know, honestly, I probably should have went into Clapku and just vanished. Because I could have done that. I could have just swapped into Clapku and vanished that Awakened Arts, but it's not the end of the world. Or, actually, I could have went into Clapku and just let the Awakened Arts hit me, but oh well. I have to be extremely careful, man, because obviously Billy has a really good team. Oof, got him with that mid-range tackle tech. I find it interesting that we both went double purple as well. Um, I recently tweeted this, but I, I honestly think double purple is, like, super powerful nowadays. Because with this new Goku and Vegeta, the fact that they can change their element factor... Um, it, it, oh, no. I did not mean to do that. Um, but yeah, now that Goku and Vegeta is here, and they can, you know, change their element factor at will... It really makes these double purple teams super viable. And that's on God Key. That's on basically probably multiple team setups that you can run double double purple with these guys. Ah, nice timing. Nice timing. Okay. I got to focus up. Let me, uh, let me focus up here. It's not really a good start so far. Okay, I'll take it. No, dude, I had two blast cards. Why did I use a strike? That was kind of dumb. Oh, thank you so much for that double sidestep. Alright. We're actually not in a bad spot here. That's fine. Almost got that vanish back. I might be able to get it. No. He got a PV on it. I was I was trying to just pop the blue card just to get my vanish back, but since he uh, since he got a PV, I couldn't vanish. Dude, my Goku and Vegeta at four stars is actually tanking pretty well. I mean, I know I have a Zenkai buffer on them, but still. And obviously, look at them healing, dude. And that's why, if you guys noticed when I showed my equipments, I do have that Awakened God Key equip that has that health restoration. Um, because that, that equip is almost a must-have on this Goku and Vegeta. That extra health restoration is just amazing. Look at that, I'm already back up to basically full health with them. Okay. 
That's fine. We'll finally, you know, pop the revival. I still have revival on my clap coup as well. I think I've kind of came back a little bit. I think at this point I actually have the advantage. But as soon as he pops clap coup's revival, then it's more even. No. I I messed up there, man. I'm still kind of getting used to Goku and Vegeta. I have been playing with them off camera a little bit, but um, it's I'm definitely still getting used to them. This is fine. Obviously, you know, Goku and Vegeta does have anti-revival, but since we're playing no rush, it doesn't really matter. No, I did not expect them to have another card. I was gonna try to I was gonna try to go to close range and just pop the green. Okay, he goes for the tackle that time. Okay. And man, I gotta say, kind of like I already mentioned, um, double purple God Key right now is really, really strong. You use the purple Goku, the purple Goku Vegeta, and then the purple Zenkai Zamasu. Um, ooh, nice. Okay, we can get the kill. And then you can either go, you know, blue or uh, purple, purple, blue with Clap Coup and have revival. You can go purple, purple, yellow with Evolution Vegeta. Um, there's a lot of probably different setups that you can that you can run. Oh, thank God. Okay. Got him with the single tap. Now I just have to deal with uh, Revival Gohan. Oh, that's going to connect. Nice. Okay, only 11 seconds left. Okay, I got to remember that they don't get key on swap in. They get key when they, when they switch. For some reason, I thought that they got key when you swapped into them. He has no vanish, though. I think I can win this. Only two seconds left. I'm just going to chain this together just in case for some reason I don't have enough damage. Whew. Dude, that match literally came down to... <laughs> there were zero counts left. That's insane. GG's. Alright, we got a god key team. He went double yellow. Okay, nice taps. No, sir. Luckily, I was a little bit patient right there. He does go to evolution, alright. Let me try and switch, get that type advantage. I guess he could go, he could go back to Vados now. Yep, there's Vados, that's fine though. Not a big deal. Oh, nice play. Nice play. That's fine. Clap Coup can tank. There's no way he has a rush, and I doubt he's going to pop his main ability. Oh, that was actually kind of a nice play. I did not expect that. Let me go up and tap. Okay, vanish this. Ah, dude, if I had a strike card right there, I would have gained priority. Okay, he goes back to Vados. Let's switch, gain advantage. Oh, but see, now I have type disadvantage. We can almost go back to Clap Coup, though. This is fine. I think Evolution Vegeta can tank some damage here. Here for a second. I don't think he's going to pop his main, but he might. Okay, he does not. Nice, that's huge. That is huge. What's he gonna do? What is he gonna do? He's probably gonna go back to Vados, right? Yeah. Okay, so we pick up another 20% damage buff because he swapped out again. So I think Evolution actually has a lot of damage buffs right now. Oh yeah, it's some pretty good damage. Ooh! Is this gonna get the kill? Yes, okay. Ooh, nice patience on his part. Wow. For him to stop sidestepping and then catch me in a sidestep, that was a nice play.
Okay, this is fine. This is fine. He's gonna pop the revival, but it's not the end of the world. I think I should be able to get my rush back pretty quickly. Hopefully. Okay, you do not have a vanish. Oh, he actually went to Gogeta there, wow. So he just basically wasted Evolution Vegeta's ultimate. No, sir. I am out of that. Okay. That is going to be game. Definitely GG's. Alright, we've got a Saiyan team. Okay, got him in the sidestep. I'll take it. He's not going to go to Angel Vegeta. He's still not going to go to Angel Vegeta. I love how the one time I don't combo drop, he goes to Angel Vegeta. That's hilarious. That's actually hilarious. He's going to swap out. Yep. That's not bad damage. Okay, very, very glad that I delayed that second side step just a little bit. I'm gonna pop the rush. He does have time to go back to Vegeta, but that's fine. I think as long as I can get rid of somebody here, then I'm happy. Uh, of course, I get gassed. He's just going to pop his main ability and heal. That really sucks. Oh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I, of course, he gets a PV. Well, I mean, I have the option of just sacking off Clapku here, right? And if he if he triggers the revival, it's not really a big deal because I already used my rush. Uh, of course, he gets another PV. I gotta say, Clapku's actually tanking pretty well. Okay, I'll take it. Wait, what was... Dude, I... I clicked right... I was trying to go into Goku and Vegeta right there, but I clicked right above their icon. I guarantee if you go back and look, you can see me clicking, like, right above their icon. So it registered as a tap attack instead of me switching. Okay, this is not good. Okay. Ooh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. We're, we're looking good here. I have to waste a little bit of time, though. Let me draw my ultimate, please. We're not going to do much damage, but I just want to get this off. Now, I have the option of staying in with Vegeta or going into Clapku. I think I'm going to go to Clapku just so I can vanish. Pop the main as well. Start healing. Hey, got him with the single tap. Let's go. That was clutch, man. That's some good damage. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Let's go into evolution, charge up, hit him with the blue. I don't think he has time to swap out. Nice. Okay. I think, uh, I think this one's in the bag, boys. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's do this, because I do have time to go into Evolution. Yep, there is the Rush, so let's go to Evolution. That's exactly what I was hoping for, because now um, I'll have type advantage over him, and he does not have a Rush. So, I think this game should be just about over here in a second, maybe. Maybe. 
He's probably gonna get it. He's probably gonna get the kill on Clapku, but he's not gonna be able to kill uh, Goku Vegeta. Actually, never mind. Okay, we can try and get the LF. Let me get it. Let me get it. Sweet. I love this animation, dude. After all. You just met your match. All right, we got a God Key team. Ah, nice, nice blue card, nice blue card. Okay, I need to win this. Dude, he literally beats me by one point. Ah, that sucks. Okay, I'll take that. That was super risky, but I'll take it. Thanks to Goku's blue card, we got the Vanish back right there. Yep, I I oh, dude, I knew he was going to go to Vados. So I just didn't expect him to catch me in the tackle right there. There's no way he has a rush already. I would be super surprised if he had a rush. Okay, once again, I'll take it. Dude, I love that cover change animation. Dude, what? Oh my gosh. I mean, I I, I, I think that was a good play on his part, being able to float up to mid-range and pop the rush like that. But dude, that's a super early rush. Well, I guess it's not that early. We're 30 counts into the match. Okay, I'm out of that. Ah, nice play. Dude, this is not a good start for me. At all. But yeah, I did not expect him to have a rush already. I did not even mean to do a full tap attack right there. Oh my god, dude, this is... If I can somehow come back from this match, it's gonna be a miracle. If I can somehow come back. Let me focus up. Let me focus up.
Oof, okay, that is gonna be game. Sorry, I got quiet there for a second. I really had to focus up. That was that was a crazy match. Another match that came down to basically the timer count. So I think that will be the last match of the video. In conclusion, I think Goku and Vegeta are absolutely amazing. You could I guarantee you could argue that they are Z tier. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.